Hey everyone, Travis Lloyd here. Just got done with my workout and I felt inspired to start a small video blog. Uh, and we'll call it, what will we call it? We'll call it the uh, Studio Build Vlog. Um, I, uh, I had a vision years and years ago that I wanted to build my own studio and uh, I bought this little old house a long time ago thinking maybe I could do it here but I didn't know how. And uh, I finally figured it out and I've been working on this studio for several months now just to make it a space that I enjoy and a space that I can be productive in and do video production and music production and poetry production. Um, and more importantly, I wanted to create a space where I could have friends that are involved and actively engaged. Um, and this process has been really gruesome to be honest, uh, but it's well worth it. And I wanted to take this second just to inspire everybody to say, the only way that it's gotten done is because I didn't listen to any naysayers, because I stayed focused and true to myself, and because I focused on one thing at a time, one thing only, and it's the only reason this has made progress. And as you, uh, as they say, if you build it, they will come, and that is exactly what has happened. And as I started to build this, I found other like-minded people who had. Uh, similar goals and similar visions for their music and the things that they want to get produced and they've come along and even started to help me and that's been uh, an amazing time you now I'm gonna just flash a couple pictures up here and you can see it in the very beginning when it was just nothing but brick and uh, concrete and it was even a year ago it was down to just a dirt floor when I put a new concrete floor in so I'll show one of those photos here that you can check out um, and right now I'll just give you a quick tour and explain the different parts of this studio keep in mind the room that I'm building this in is also a utility room so it's got my washer and dryer and my heating and air conditioning or my heating unit and, um, and all of that stuff in here too. And it's only about 11 feet wide by about 20 feet long. Uh, so here's the quick tour of the studio build. Now when I first started, this was all just, um, again, concrete and brick. And I started by putting a little foundation floor, a subfloor that is actually sitting on top of a layer of rubber. So that the subfloor is essentially floating and this entire vocal booth that is what I built here uh, is a room within a room you can see that it's not even connected to the ceiling around it uh, and uh, that is for sound proofing so that when somebody's in the vocal booth recording on the microphone that other sounds don't vibrate into the booth and get recorded onto the microphone now uh, the walls of this booth were the first things that I built and uh, then I built this door which you can see I actually essentially put some wood and a drywall and two full doors in there to make it heavy and soundproof um, so it's really uh, difficult to hear anything through. Uh, one of the cool things is in, in a few different spots I put in these uh, USB ports so that when people are in here recording with me uh, they can uh, you know plug their phones in. The outside of this vocal booth is uh, the uh, ventilation system and essentially this is just an in in inflow and outflow uh, so up here uh, this connects with this and there's a fan right here that blows out so there'll be a tube that connects here to here and then sucks the air out the hot air out and then down here there'll be another fan box that um, blows the cool air in now since this is such a small space I was struggling to find uh, how to make it not feel crowded when you walk into the room. So I built this wall here, but I also built this built-in, so it kind of sets it in a little bit, and I could put shelving or a coat hook there, that type of stuff. Um, then the other trick was how do I close in this messy washer and dryer area, so I built this frame around it where I'm gonna hang a curtain rack, and that curtain rack will actually uh, have heavy drapes on it, so it'll prevent sound from uh, echoing in there when I'm playing music down here. Uh, this again right here, uh, just a little built-in because I needed a place to put a switch and outlets with more USB ports that run those lights over there so that this area of the room gets lighted. I did do all of the wiring myself with the help of a good friend of mine, Mark, um, who's done a lot of wiring in the past. and. Uh, so one of the real challenges was figuring out how to get it lighted well, uh, and I'm glad that I did that. I'm glad that I took the time to add more lighting. As you can see, there's the lights up there, and then this light over here, which I'm gonna actually replace with a hanging pendant light. Um, 
And then I've got lighting wired up here, which I'm gonna custom build a light that's gonna hang here, which will be over my desk, which will be right here. And then of course, adding can lights over here uh, and up there uh, will improve the lighting a lot. The best thing that is improving the lighting is this window. As you can see, this is what the original window was right here. Uh, and I'll flash up a couple before and after pictures. We got her. Uh, and this is what the window is now. I originally just wanted to have it a little extra light, so I was gonna put a little bit of a bigger window in here. But I thought if I'm gonna have to rent a tool in order to cut through brick, maybe I should just cut through a lot of the brick and put a much bigger window in. And I found out that this size of a window is big enough to be considered an egress window. So now my house is considered to have uh, an extra bedroom. So that could probably increase the resale value a lot too. So I thought, why not? Let's do it. What you're looking at right now, besides the dog laying on the floor, the dirty floor, is this little tube right here actually runs through the wall up here and comes out here. And this will turn around, rotate, and go up into the ceiling and through here uh, and run through the ceiling so that um, all of the microphone cables and everything that are running from my desk, they don't run on the floor to the vocal booth. They actually run through the ceiling and then they'll run into the ventilation system and into the vocal booth. Now, one of the things that I'm working on right now is installing this new door. Um, I found it actually on sale, on closeout, because the edge of it had a little bit of damage at Menards, and I got it for like 50 bucks, and it just so happened to exactly match this other door that goes into the other room in the basement. Um, so I'm installing that right now. This past weekend, I actually hired somebody to come in and spray the... Uh, texture on the walls so now they're ready to be painted so that's what i'm going to do today and then after all the walls get painted um, i'm going to have tile guys come in and put tile on the floor uh, but just so you see the vision the well, the entire floor is going to be a nice tile except for this center of the room there's going to be about an eight foot by five foot area that's just hardwood and that's where my desk is going to be so thanks for tuning in to the first session of the uh, video build vlog. Um, I'll be posting some updates soon. Again, I'm Travis Lloyd. Make sure you connect with me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, Travis Lloyd speaks on everything. Have a great day.